All right, what is up you guys? Devin here back for another video and in today's video I want to talk to you guys about the secret to getting cinematic footage using your GoPro. Now, as you may have noticed in some of my previous videos, I've been using a lot more GoPro footage uh, and I've been trying to show that, whether it's mountain biking, wakeboarding, boat related stuff. That's because I've been pushing myself to get the best looking footage out of these cameras and prove that you can get professional looking shots if you know the gear and understand its limits. Um, I've been on shoots before where some people have been like, why are you using your GoPro? Well, why wouldn't I use my GoPro? It's gonna get the shot that I'm looking to get. So to put it to the ultimate test, I set out to use the GoPro uh, more on a professional shoot than I've ever done before. And we really wanted some unique shots to put you right there in the action and the GoPros are great for that. We also got some normal shots that you may expect to be shot on uh, a different camera or a normal cinema camera or something like that. But we ended up opting for the GoPro just to kind of put it to the test and see, let's see how this turns out. We're pretty shocked and also really pleased to see, dang, that shot turned out really good. Now, we also mixed it with some other cameras like the GH5, the GH6, and a Sony, but everything mixed really well and it turned out pretty darn good. So anyway, this is the edit that came out of that shoot. Check it out. So that was a super fun shoot and there's a few things going on here. You gotta remember that GoPros have come a long way. So if you're sitting on a GoPro Hero 1, 2, 3, or 4, then you may wanna consider upgrading to the 9, 10, or 11 or beyond because now they shoot with high frame rates in 4K and 5K, which in the past you would have to have some very expensive cinema camera rigs. They'd be huge, they'd be heavy, and you wouldn't wanna put them in the situations that you're putting the GoPro. You also now have professional controls, so you can get that cinematic look and you'll be able to control your light. And you control your light by controlling your ISO, your shutter speed, and your aperture. Now on the GoPros, it has a fixed aperture, so all you have to worry about is your ISO and your shutter speed. And to control your shutter speed, you use something called an ND filter. Now that is the main secret to getting cinematic footage with a GoPro, is controlling your shutter speed, getting that natural looking motion blur, and to do that, like I said, use an ND filter, because most of the time, you're using a GoPro out in the sunlight, and you want good light with a GoPro, they're not the best in low light, they're not terrible, but they're not the best. But typically, without an ND filter, you're gonna be doing what's called overcranking, and that's where you have way higher shutter speed than you should for the frame rate that you're shooting. And the general rule of thumb is that you always want to be double your frame rate. So if you're shooting at 60 frames per second, you wanna have a shutter speed of one over 120. But sometimes if you set that and you're out in broad daylight, it's gonna be way too bright and blown out. So to fix that, you can control the amount of light that hits your sensor by using an ND filter. And this allows, allows you to slow that shutter speed down to the right speed, which will give your footage that more cinematic look and help reduce the infamous GoPro Jello effect or um, just that stuttery look that you get with high shutter speeds. 
So by using an ND filter, you can slow your shutter speed down and create that smooth, more professional looking footage with more natural looking motion blur. Check out some of these test shots that I did side by side, uh, the GoPro Hero 10 and the Hero 11, and the Hero 11 with the ND filter and the shutter speed set manually at double the frame rate. And at any moment you pause, you can see a motion blur uh, in the one that the ND filter is on, giving it a more professional look. So that's the look that you're going for. That's the look that I think really differentiates kind of amateur versus pro, and that's that's a ticket. Now when you're using an ND filter with your GoPro, make sure to use the right one for the lighting conditions that you're shooting in, and adjust your camera's settings accordingly. With a little bit of practice, you'll be able to create smooth cinematic footage and take your videos to the next level. And a little bonus tip for you guys is to capitalize on what GoPros are strong at. They're really good action cameras made for action shots and for filming environments that you wouldn't want to risk damaging your more expensive camera. So put them in those situations. And you also don't want to use them for shots that you probably need a zoom lens for. If you see a whale way off in the distance, you take out your GoPro, it's probably not going to be the one that you should choose. So. When I say get a cinematic or professional look to your GoPro footage, those are also big key factors you want to you want to keep in mind. So there you have it. If you want to get cinematic GoPro footage, remember to use an ND filter to control your shutter speed and don't be afraid to capitalize on what these cameras are good at. With a little bit of practice, you'll get some truly stunning footage that will take your videos to the next level. So as always, thank you for watching. I hope you guys found this helpful. If you did, Leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. And as always, keep creating, keep pushing yourself, and keep getting those cinematic shots. I'll see you guys in another video.